Cities burning is just the beginning of an SHTF scenario. What we're witnessing right now across the country, nationwide, is a level of civil unrest we haven't seen in many years. And when cities start to burn, the rest of the country should pay close attention. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and today we're going to talk about the fact that the cities in our country are starting to burn. And once these cities start to burn, we should look at them as a signal, some kind of an early warning sign for those of us who don't live in the city as this could potentially spread. This could potentially come our way. And the cities burning is one of the first scenarios we talk about in any SHTF scenario. It's kind of on the list and in order of things that we expect in a progression of an SHTF style event. So let's recap a little bit really quickly so we have something to base some of our theories on. So first and foremost, we started with the pandemic. That then rolled into the situation of lockdowns and restrictions and ne necessary wearing of PPE and everything else related to it, which a lot of people then lost their jobs and businesses were shut down. Suddenly the economy became the next victim of the current SHTF scenario. So now we're talking about an economic collapse. So we went from pandemic into an economic collapse, which is now resulting in civil unrest, which of course there was an event that triggered the civil unrest and caused all of the riots and looting and everything else related to that event right now. However, had these original peace has not been in place to where we were seeing a pandemic turn into an economic collapse, which is now turning into civil unrest. That is what we would have expected with any SHTF scenario. And the reason for that is because once people are under a certain amount of duress, and once people are under a certain amount of stress and they feel like they're cornered, this is what happens. It's eventual no matter what SHTF scenario we're talking about. It is the inevitability. And Right now, we are seeing the cities actually burn. This is a real analogy. This is something we have to think about. The cities burning is our early warning sign as to trouble on the way, because these events that we've already witnessed have actually snowballed into the current situation. And whether or not you are in an area affected directly by the unrest that's currently going on, you are going to be affected by it if things continue to escalate. There's a lot of speculation out there. There's a lot of people thinking that this can actually turn into some kind of a different style of unrest in the sense of maybe a revolution of some kind or something like that. If that continues to escalate, things are going to get a lot more strict and a lot more drastic. And yes, we're talking about things like martial law. We're talking about use of force. We're talking about the government maintaining control regardless of what that means. And that is a place that none of us really ever wanted to find ourselves. And if you're worried about where our world is heading when it comes to the SHTF events we're witnessing right now and what our country is going to look like here in the future and how you're going to maintain your lifestyle and take care of your family during all of the events that are currently happening, hit the subscribe button below because we need to keep talking about it. And this is definitely a very interesting time of our lives. I don't think the powder keg has ever been more explosive than it is right now. And people need to realize that when you're in a prepared mindset, when you're prepping for SHTF events, that this is the order of business. This is just what is already expected. If you read any SHTF related literature of how to survive some kind of a apocalyptic event when it comes to an urban environment, especially, we've gone down the list of things. There's always a trigger moment. There is a catalyst that gets the thing rolling, right? And as of right now, we all know the catalyst was, you know, the pandemic, which got everything started. That pandemic led into economic collapse, which in my opinion, as a prepper and as somebody who worries about these things, is the worst thing that we can expect because once an economic collapse starts, everything else starts to fall in place because it's really the end all say all in whatever our country is able to do and how we're able to move forward. So we saw the economic collapse start to occur. Yes, are we technically in one right this second? That's up to you. And that depends on your personal situation, in my opinion, because look, if you have lost your job and you're out of work and you don't have the income that you used to have to be able to support your family with, it doesn't matter if anyone else is in an economic collapse right now, you are, and this is where things are heading. So once that happened, now what happens next? Well, if I didn't even know about all the events that are circulating around our current situation here, 
I would have told you most likely civil unrest. And the reason for that is because these are the orders of business. This is exactly what happens during an SHTF scenario. We're watching the beginning of one right now. And if you don't think we're at the start of more of a long-term SHTF style event, then I'm sorry, but I feel like you haven't been paying close attention to all the cards that are falling into place because Yes, can things come back from this? Can we repair and rebuild and get back to normal at some point, or at least some kind of resemblance of normal, which we all know is probably not gonna be the case, but can we? Of course, yes, we can definitely find ourselves back in maybe pre-2019, hanging out and enjoying ourselves again here soon if things go positively. However, escalation is already occurring. We are seeing a spread of this unrest throughout the entire country. This is on a national scale at this point. I live in North Dakota and there was events going on down in Fargo recently that, you know, made it so some businesses aren't going to be able to ever open again. This is definitely countrywide. Even as small of a populace of state that I am in, no population at all, we're still experiencing similar things here as they are around the rest of the country. So, this is what's important as preppers, as people who are worried about preparation, as people who are worried about being in the right mindset for staying ahead of the curve and not falling into the SHT events that are taking place currently on our planet, you have to look into the crystal ball and figure out what's happening next. You can't just rely on immediate information from any mainstream sources and say, okay, this is happening right this second, so here's what I'm gonna do. You have to look into the future to try to plan better, to try to make sure that you're not gonna fall behind because these events are happening just as we would expect. And if you haven't seen any of this coming, then you need to start opening up your mind a little bit to the idea of thinking about the future and to the idea of how things can progress even if they don't end up progressing that way. Prepare for the worst, hope for the best, a mantra that we all throw around constantly. However, if you're not looking into the future in the worst way possible, then you're not preparing for what you might need, even if that day never comes. So it's very important, and right now we're on the edge of a serious situation. And we all know there's speculation and there's talk all over the internet about what this is gonna morph into. And honestly, I'm not sure exactly what it's gonna turn into, but I will say that after unrest, there's a few things that can happen. And these are things that you all need to pay attention to, okay? Obviously, the big war phenomenon that we all talk about could happen, whether or not it's in a civil sense or a worldwide sense, that is still a possibility during these times because if, if this situation continues to escalate and we get to a point where the violence is um, no longer contained, that is what you can expect. You can also expect the economy to further crumble. So an economic collapse turns into a societal collapse. Once everybody doesn't have money for the things that they need to survive and have their basic needs met, that's what you're expecting. And during societal collapse is when you see the fall of society, which means the end of our current civilization, as we know it at least, okay? So, like I said, that's me looking at the crystal bar in the worst way possible. Not me trying to speculate that this is exactly what's gonna happen, but that's what I'm gonna prepare for watching these cards fall into place. So yes, is this what the beginning of an SHTF event looks like? I think so. And when the cities burn, is that a signal? Is that an early warning sign for exactly what's to come? Of course it is. And if you're not in the city, you should be looking at this from a distance saying, okay, I need to make sure I have everything in order. And if you are in the city, I hope to God you're able to get out. And if not, I hope you have the supplies you need to either make it through the long haul of staying hunkered down or getting out of town, maybe utilizing the old bug out bag and actually getting out of there before things get worse, okay? So those are things you need to consider. This is one analogy that I thought about during my process here of thinking about our current scenario and current events that we're actually experiencing, and that is the lighting of the fires when Gondor calls on Rohan in Lord of the Rings, right? Very nerd city right now, but hear, hear me out, okay? They light the fires, they send for aid, they say we need help, right? and Rohan comes and helps him. Those fires are a great analogy for the signal that we should all be seeing right now when it comes to these cities burning. Because not only do the cities need help, but they also show us what we can expect to come. And just like in Lord of the Rings, that can lead to conflict. And that's something that we have to prepare for, okay? So, I wanted to get this video out. I wanted to keep talking to you guys. 
you know, I've had a lot of life-changing events lately, as I'm sure many of you know about. So I'm trying my best to maintain a good balance of life and still provide the content that you all look for here. So if you need anything from me or if you're curious about anything else going on in the world, hit the comments section below. Let me know your thoughts on what's happening right now and stay prepared. I'm not going to lie to you. The closer you are to these urban regions, the more you should have these bug out bags ready to roll. And if you need advice on a bug out bag or you need information about things that, you know, I would suggest when it comes to looking for one or buying one or putting one together, let me know in the comments and I will always do my best to take care of you all. So without anything else to say about the cities burning and it being an early warning sign of SHTF, that's going to be it for Magic Breath.